How important is lighting in your reef's aquarium? Why are they always blue? Let's talk about it. Now, first up, most fish don't really require any certain intensity of light, unless they're sort of like a deep water collected fish, like a Borbonius anthias, for example. Sometimes it takes a while for those guys to settle into highlight situations, but most fish, all they need is they need a, a daylight cycle. So they don't need certain intensities or any certain spectra. Now, the reason we use blue light in most of our reef tank setups is that corals are able to photosynthesize better off blue light than other sources of light. Now, there is still white light in the spectrum, but we do run it a little more blue, mostly for the photosynthesis, but also because the blue light excites the color pigments in the coral and gives us our beautiful reef look. Now, the next thing is scheduling and intensity. Scheduling is pretty straightforward. I recommend giving at least eight to 10 hours a day of light light for the corals. You can do up to 12 hours. It's just, I don't always recommend that in the beginning stages because you'll probably end up growing a ton of algae because you're putting energy into the tank and there's not really much using it. And the next thing is intensity. That's gonna depend on what you're keeping. On most systems, if I'm doing an LPS or soft coral system, if I've got the right size light and it's mounted properly, I'll usually max them out at about 65%. For most brands across the board, that generally will work. Now that's not a guarantee. Don't go and make me liable for your coral death. The other thing I'll do is if I've got SPS corals, I'll actually crank them up to 95%. And then as I add the SPS corals to the aquarium, um, if they're coming out of a very high light tank, I'll go ahead and I'll just put them where I think they'll do well. But if they're coming out of a lower light tank, maybe they're not quite cranked as high, I'll kind of put them in the mid range. And then typically in most aquariums, I'll have an idea of the par in those certain areas. So on this aquarium, this light is designed really for this setup. We run this at about 60% and we get pretty good results on all the LPS and soft corals in here as far as growth all right now our lights aren't on in here but i have used a power meter to kind of figure out where my hot spots are so pretty much right under the lights in that top zone this top ridge of all these acropora montipora whatever we get 350 nor the top that's from the 95 percent on these reef led 90s and then just below the top shelf of acropora we're getting like 250 to 225 mostly on this top ridge and then actually drops pretty significantly down below and most of it down below is like 150 to 100 and that's kind of how we know where to put corals and then we also kind of understand the flow in the system with these red sea gyres we've got a circular pattern going on the tank and then obviously we've got the return outlet but we're finding the acros are growing so fast, we're gonna have to throw another gyro pump on this side so that we get a little bit better water flow in the tank as a whole. So that's it for lighting on a reef aquarium. I'll say this, most of the time, I set the lighting schedule on an aquarium because I know what I'm gonna keep in there and I don't change it ever again. 